what I would like to cover tonight, uh, and it's going to be a short video lecture, is, first of all, the stuff that was due for tonight. <clears throat> I ask you guys, in fact, I think what I did was I share with you guys online, Timex Web, was this the one that had uh, oh this is the first Eclipse project example using a JSP connecting to a database okay and here it is Timex Web if you open it you see an index JSP right if you open that index.jsp, <coughs> and this is it. Notice that this index.jsp, when I run it, Okay. What it does, it actually gives me everything from the department table in Timex. The homework for tonight was to present data from a different table. So all you had to do, really, was, and I'm going to check whether I have my database up and running or not. I do not, so I'm going to run it. Okay. Then I'm going to launch my query browser, connect to my SQL, and as part of the project, you guys were given Timex backup. So you were supposed to take that back up and restore it in your MySQL. And here it is. This is the one, Timex. So if you browse the department table, you see four departments. That's what this index.jsp is currently showing. It's just showing those four departments. Department code as one column and the name of the department as another. Here it is. This is, will show the department code and this will show the department name. Okay? Now, I use a counter to tell me how many departments I have seen and the counter, what I do is I calculate the mod, the module 2, so that I can use a different background color. So it looks nice and neat, you know. One row will show with a different background color than the next. And that's it. That's really it. And I'm using what? I'm using the JDBC driver. I'm creating a new instance of that JDBC driver and then I'm creating a connection this is the connection with this URL this URL is localhost 3306 is the port timex is the name of the database user root no password then I'm creating a statement and what's the statement select star from the department so to make the long sh story short, what I needed you for to do for tonight was select star from any other table. So let's say employees. So I'm going to modify it. And I can modify it. Why is it that I can modify it? Because it's inside this zip file. Yeah, here it is. So, basically, just so I don't touch 
dot index JSP, I'm going to copy index JSP. I'm going to rename it. Let's call it index two. Should you put it back into um, the web content folder? Okay. And here it is. So basically, all you had to do was select star from a different table, employee, for instance. So employee has a whole mo a lot more columns. Employee ID, name, email. Okay? So you obviously have to create a lot more TDs. But it was basically the same stuff. Select star from employee, so you're going to get a whole bunch of other uh, columns. But all you have to do is copy these into get string sub 3 and sub 4 for the third and fourth column. Now there's a fifth and sixth. There's a fifth and sixth. Okay? And then you have to do the same thing for the other co background color. I mean, literally, homework was like a 30 minute task. But you had to know, you had to understand what I'm what you're doing, you know? Okay. So Oh, you're right. Yeah. Before I run it, I have to change, you know, this is employee ID. And this is employee name. And we need Third one is email. And the fourth one is what is this? Oh, code. Or type. And the password and the manager employee. So we're not going to display those. So let's get rid of five and six. Five and six. Or if if you did it, that's fine. Okay. The color. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to show the same color as the the other guys. Okay. Just make sure that all of the TDs have the same background color in their respective TRs. And that's it. Now, we have web app libraries here. Here's my SQL connector. And I go through the pre through last year's video lectures, I go through you know, the process of making sure that you add those web app libraries as part of your dependencies. Cause you're going to need to know what a connection is and all that stuff. Um, so let's, for a second, let's just clean this project first, JSP. So it gets compiled. Okay. There's something else that we can do. We can trust that this is going to work, and we can go to Windows Preferences and turn off. Uh, validation. JSP files validation. And just, let's just ignore. Don't validate JSP fragments. Okay. Alright. And let's just do a clean. And it 
just resolve itself. I don't know. Some, and that's that's really weird. Honestly, that's the validation on JSPs is weird. So let's deploy first. What 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 what's what's the problem with first? Target Apache Tomcat five is not defined. Yeah, of course. Let's go to properties. Target runtimes. Yes, you're right. I don't have Tomcat 5.5. Let's do... Um, what was it? Tomcat 6? And clean it. Alright, so it's clean now. So we're going to run it on the server. And it's going to be Tomcat 6. So finish and just cross your fingers it's validating I don't want you to validate I'm not sure why I have two Tomcats 6. One is called Runtime and the other one is called Tomcat 6. But we'll see. Where's my server? So window, show view. I need to see my servers. Where are my servers? Other servers. Servers. All right, here is servers. So it's Tomcat 6. First JSP has been deployed, and it launched the internal browser of Eclipse. This is first JSP, right? Now, and I went through this on the other two video lectures. If you take a look at the WebInf, WebXML. Remember, WebXML is the web deployment configura configuration. So it's the one that tells it, hey, this is the name of the project. And I want you to find any of these welcome file, welcome files. So it's going to start. Hey, is there an index.html under web content? No. Is there an in index.htm? No. Is there an index.jsp? Yes! So it runs the index.jsp. That's why you guys see this. But if we want something different, then we have to tell it index2.jsp. There it is. That was the homework for tonight. Okay? So now we're showing the following record selected from the Oops, <laughs> that's the problem when you have hard-coded stuff from the employee table. Now this is really cool. Look at this. I'm just modifying a paragraph in the JSP. I am saving it, and this is behind the scenes. It's saying it's synchronized. So what it does, it deploys it automatically. So if I do refresh, it shows immediately. Yeah, it's the same thing as PHP. You know, you change something in the PHP page, you go into the browser, refresh, and you get the new stuff. 